buying a new power supply, one of the characteristics in which more should be set, apart from the power of the model, is the type of 80 plus certification that has the model that is going to be acquired. The first thing is to clarify what the letters 80 plus mean, applied in relation to a power source. It is a certification carried out by ECHOES Consulting with the aim of promoting more efficient products at the energy level. Something similar to the certifications that usually take all the appliances nowadays and that tells us more or less what this consumes and the energy that it stops taking advantage of. The certification assures the user that the power source that he wants to acquire has an energy efficiency of at least 80% under any power load. This means that, of all the power that reaches the source, at least 80% of it is converted into useful energy, while the remaining 20% is lost as heat energy. However, as time has gone by, users have been demanding more efficient models of power supplies and, with them, new more efficient internal topologies have arrived. As the internal efficiency of the power supplies was increased, Subcategories were created within the 80 plus certification until reaching the 80 plus titanium certification in 2012, in which Delta Electronics developed the first power supplies with this certification. One disadvantage of the 80 plus certification is that it does not require measuring the energy efficiency of the power supplies when they are in very low or no load conditions, such as when the computer is off or on standby. In these circumstances, Power sources with good energy efficiency with the system under load can present a very bad energy efficiency, which leads to consume much more than required. In fact, only the titanium certification imposes a minimum efficiency of 90% with a load of only 10% on the total power of the source. An added advantage to the lower consumption of a source with higher certification is that they are usually much less sonorous than those with lower efficiency. Since less energy is converted into heat, the fan does not have to spin at more revolutions per minute. Many manufacturers have taken advantage of this feature to create hybrid sources, in which their fan does not start up until a certain power consumption is reached.